Howdy, I'm Daryl Bruffett with another video to post on how it's done with Daryl. I have an old Cub Cadet lawn tractor. It's got to be 30 years old. So you know it was built well, but it developed a hydraulic leak. What happened was there was a bolt that came loose in the radiator, and the radiator rubbed up against a steel hydraulic tube that operates the deck that raises and lowers to adjust the height of the grass that you're going to mow. It's just got a little pinhole in it, and I'm going to attempt to braise that uh, little pinhole and fix it and probably save myself a couple of hundred bucks because I'm guessing that's what it would cost for me to have that tube replaced. I might be able to get it done a little cheaper if I had, it, uh, had somebody build it for me, but I'm going to see if I can braise it and fix that problem for about 20 bucks. I think fixing this is going to be way easier than it was to work this steel tube out of my mower. Now the hole's about the size of a straight pin. Now I've sweated a lot of copper fittings and figured this would be pretty simple. The key is to get the surface that you are working on as clean as you can and then don't overheat it. I used some steel wool to clean off the area that I was going to be brazing and then I brushed on some flux before heating it up just to make sure it was as clean as possible. My brazing rods were also coated with flux too, so getting the silver solder to stick was not going to be a problem, I didn't think. You could use a propane torch to heat up your work, but I've got an oxygen acetylene set up, and I was able to put a brazing tip on it, which allows me to control the area that I was heating just a little bit more than a propane torch. Now, you don't want the steel that you're heating to turn cherry red, because you can actually push your rod through the soft metal. What you want is it to be more of a maroon or a dark color in terms of the heat. You know you've got the temperature right because the solder is going to just start melting and it'll glide all over the damaged area. When soldering, use enough to repair the problem, but you don't want a big glob. More isn't better when you're soldering. Once you feel like that you've made the repair, let it cool naturally. Don't touch it. Hot metal bends very easy, so you want to be patient and just let it cool. Once you can handle it, well, you're good to reinstall it. Hydraulic systems work under a lot of pressure. So now cross your fingers and let's hope that the silver solder fixes your leak. Well, it looks like we fixed it. One thing that I did do is where it had rubbed before, I took a piece of old hose and I put it around the steel hydraulic line just so it would keep it from rubbing again if for some reason the, I've discovered the bolt that was holding the radiator came out and that's what caused it to rub and create that little pinhole that created my problem. So I was able to solder that little pinhole on that steel hydraulic line and it only cost me about $17. So there you go. I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. You know, had it failed, I could have always gone and bought a new one, but you don't know until you try. And that's another edition of How It's Done with Daryl. See you guys next time.